everyone, Amy here with Never Regret Vacations, and now it's time to come fly with Amy. So in today's video, we will be touring you around the Royal Caribbean's Independence of the Seas. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Amy, I'm a professional traveler as well as a travel agent. Uh, I took a weekend cruise on Independence of the Seas at the end of October, it was actually Halloween weekend, and I'm so excited to show you this ship. So just a couple facts about this ship. So this is an older ship. Um, it's very similar to like the Explorer class of ships if you're familiar with those. All those ships pretty much look about the same. Um, the nice thing about this ship is that it underwent an amplification process, which is Royal Caribbean's enhancement process. And that happened a couple years ago. So it's a nice mix of the older layout with some of the newer features, such as some of your specialty dining restaurants and some of your different upscale bars. Um, overall, we loved the ship, so I'm so excited to take you along as we explore the independence of the seas. Let's start our tour in the outdoor areas of Independence of the Seas. First up is Independence Dunes, which is the mini golf course located on deck number 13. Here is a bird's eye view of the solarium. The solarium is an adults only area. You'll also notice throughout the ship that there are plenty of sun deck chairs. From this vantage point, you can see the main pool area, which is located on deck number 11, but this bar is called the Sky Lounge. The main pool is for travelers of all ages, plus they also have a movie under the stars theater. Also located on deck number 11 is a splash away bay. This is a new addition to this ship during the amplification process and is clearly a hit with the kids. In general, Royal Caribbean has a very extensive kids program. This is all located on deck number 12 of Independence of the Seas. Each age range has their own area to hang out in and where activities are held. Featured on deck number 14 is the Viking Crown Lounge. This doubles as a bar area as well as a nightclub in the evening. This lounge easily has some of the nicest views throughout the entire ship. As you can see, the windows are panoramic and allow for 360 views around the ocean and the outer areas of the ship. Located on deck number 12 is the spa and the fitness area. This is actually a two-level area that expands into deck 11 as well. Located on deck 14, directly outside of the Viking Crown Lounge, is the Suite Lounge. Although we didn't check it out, also located on the ship is an escape room. As with many other Royal Caribbean ships, there is a very extensive recreational program. This includes a lot of cool features like water slides, flow ride, and sports activities, including the rock climbing wall. Most of these activities are included in the cost of your cruise fare, although the Flow Rider Surf Simulation is not.
Before we continue on with the interior of the ship, let's take a moment to appreciate the beautiful blue waters of Nassau, Bahamas. Located on deck number 11 is the Windjammer Cafe, as well as two of the specialty dining restaurants located on this ship. Overall, we did enjoy the food at the Windjammer. This part of the buffet did receive a refurbishment during the amplification process. I will admit that during main peak periods, it was very difficult to find some seating. The two specialty dining restaurants located here are Giovanni's Table, which features Italian, and Chop's Grill, which is a steakhouse. We did dine at Chop's Grill and had a really wonderful meal, so we would highly recommend doing that as part of your cruise. Located right outside of Splashaway Bay is Fish and Chips. This is a fish and chips type fare, but it is an additional charge. And of course, don't forget complimentary ice cream, although nowadays it is not served 24-7. Now, let's head down to the Royal Promenade. As we start our tour here of the Royal Promenade, we are going to begin on deck number five. First up is the Star Lounge. Although this was set up for an art gallery at the time, this venue is also used for karaoke and evening entertainment. The Royal Promenade really becomes a main hub for entertainment and dining throughout your vacation. Sorrento's is a pizza establishment that is open into the late hours of the evening. There are also some shops located throughout the World Promenade. This main focal point really livens up throughout the evening and even features a couple dance parties that are known and famous for Royal Caribbean. If you did purchase the alcohol package or even a basic drink package, the Coke Freestyle machines are located throughout the ship and you receive a free refillable mug as part of the package. We personally purchased an alcohol package for the duration of our sailing and found it to be a fantastic value. This venue, Vintages, also hosts a number of wine and bourbon tastings throughout the cruise. Throughout the promenade, there are a couple of dining menus that are for purchase and some that are complimentary. Ben & Jerry's is an additional cost, while the Cafe Promenade treats are included within your sailing price. Bolero's is another bar located on deck number four and is incredibly popular in the evenings. It features Latin music and it becomes a very lively dance venue. Playmakers is another venue that was recently added during the amplification process. Playmakers features wings and other sports-related food, and the food itself is an additional charge. 
but if you do have a drink package, these drinks are included within that package. What would a Royal Caribbean cruise be without a casino? The Casino Royale is a very popular casino that features all types of slots and gaming tables. Keep in mind that this is a smoking casino. The Schooner Bar is another classic Royal Caribbean venue that features piano music in the evenings. Royal Caribbean is known for their entertainment. During our sailing, we were able to watch Grease as a Broadway style production. The other evenings, they are featured variety shows and welcome aboard shows. Located on deck number four is Izumi, which is sushi and hibachi. This is a specialty dining restaurant. Another famous staple of Royal Caribbean cruise ships is Studio B. This features ice skating shows. We watched the ice skating show called Freeze Frame, and it was really amazing. These are featured nightly. Located on decks number three, four, and five is the main dining room. You'll notice that this three level dining room is massive. Located on deck number three, the lowest level, is my time dining. That is not assigned seating. Decks four and five is used for the assigned seatings. And there was our ship tour of the Independence of the Seas. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, remember, if you're looking to book your next cruise vacation, um, I'm available to help. Uh, super easy process to work with me and I help as much or as little as you want. Um, keep in mind, I do offer some gifts um, as a way to say thank you for booking with me. Um, if you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel because I got lots more amazing content coming your way. And until next time. Happy travels. Bye.